So this drawing is for Connor, who is one of my creative kids. Um, I can't remember the proper name of this fish, but it's a sword, sword tail fish. So we're just going to do a pencil drawing first. I do apologise, this the painting of this, my video didn't go quite to the end. But there's enough to give you an idea of how to paint it. So the way to get scales on this guy is just some um, cross hatching which you'll see in a second. You don't need to try and draw every every scale on the fish, it's just, just enough to give you the idea. So once you've got all the details on your fish, we're going to use an archival pen, just because that doesn't run with the watercolour, to go over the outline. Apologies for the noise in the background, that's my two-year-old. Macy, say hi. Say hi. hi. <laughs> Good boy. I always find at this point when I'm doing the final outline, shapes kind of change a little and this is where you can add any extra details or any more kind of character. I think this guy looks a little bit more punk than the first one that I drew um, and just by changing things like the size or the shape of the eyes or you know the details that you add you can really change the character of your drawing. Make sure you rub out all of your pencil lines before we start to paint. Now the only colours that I've used for this is a green, a yellow and an orange. So we start with just the tiniest bit of green that's just going to show up underneath. And you can spread it out with just some plain water on your brush too. Then we're going to go in with some yellow and we're going to fill in most of the fish. Doing this just gives us some good layers of colour. You could just paint the whole thing orange but it wouldn't have any depth to it. So then we go in with the orange. And you'll notice that the darkest bits are on the top and then I'll water it down as I go down lower. So you can pretty much use the paint that you put on at the top with a little bit of extra water and spread that down over the rest of the fish. You don't need a lot. And I blend all the colours in together with just a little bit of water, but you won't see that because it's about to stop. And here's our finished fish. <laughs> 